Let's bring in Republican Congressman Warren Davidson, state of Ohio, who joins us now from the Capitol Rotunda. It's good to see you, Congressman. Um, you know, there's a congressman from Ohio and Jim Jordan who's getting a lot of attention, as Joe Khalil just talked about. You're an Ohio guy. Is Jim Jordan the next speaker? How do you think this is going to play out? Yeah, I think Jim's got a great shot. I think he's a super talented guy. Uh, I've said all along that, um, you know, I think whomever can cast a vision that unites the party is going to emerge as the next Speaker of the House. And I think Jim can certainly do that. Steve Scalise is resonating. Right now, no one has, uh, has earned the job. And I don't think that'll happen until we get together in person Tuesday night. But I do think it was the right call by Patrick McHenry to say, you know, maybe we should vent separately instead of have a giant vent session. When people are angry and frustrated, a lot of times they say things that are hard to take back. And uh, I think it was healthy to kind of give a little bit of time and space there. No, I see the argument, but I also see how people could look at that, just a normal person sitting at home and be like, come on, these guys just kicked out a Speaker of the House, very, very important position, and now they're taken off for a week and they're not going to do anything. Like, the House is frozen in place. That's, I mean, you could see how people would make that argument, how people, you know, just normal Americans would be upset with all of you for, for that. Well, I could see the reaction, but I think what should be clear is uh, that's not what's happening. I mean... Uh, most people haven't left D.C., and even the ones that, uh, that have, uh, the phones are, are nonstop. I mean, we don't stop meeting with one another or talking on the phone with one another. Uh, and so the work is underway, uh, and so it's just not all in one big room with everybody in the room at the same time. And I think that's a part of the skill of putting the network together to earn the job, too. Okay, and whoever has the job has quite a job on their hands because it could, and one person could come up, you could bring it up, or another member of the House, and, and try to remove the Speaker, which is what happened here. I mean, that's what Matt Gates did. Let me put up the names of the eight people who ended up supporting him. He didn't, you know, it turned, I don't think he needed all eight, but that's all it's, he had, and it was more than enough uh, to do it. And if you look, at those, you know, names of the Andy Biggs of the world, uh, Buck, Burchard, Crane, Good, Mason, Rosendale uh, joining with Gates. You didn't end up joining in in the end. What was your thinking about how all of this played out? Because on one of the resolutions, I think you did sort of vote against McCarthy. Is that right? I was trying to keep track of things yesterday as we covered it. But how did it come out for you in the end to support McCarthy? Is this, uh, would you have liked to have seen a different outcome? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, I nominated Kevin in January. I voted to keep Kevin, not to vacate. I voted against the resolution yeah. to vacate. Uh, there was a procedural vote on the motion to table that some people mistook. Uh, that's a, should we go to the motion to vacate or not? And I think it's wrong. It's, the motion to vacate was very prominently featured in the fight for who would become the next Speaker of the House. It's been a privileged resolution since 1801 with a brief interruption for Nancy Pelosi. So part of the Republican rules fight was whether to restore the motion to vacate. And, you know, there was a healthy debate in conference. Uh, the conference rules package at one point, Mike Turner from Ohio introduced an amendment to say a majority of the majority party could introduce a motion to vacate. And that's right. it. Um, and that passed a majority of the Republican conference. But then it was clear that no one was going to get the job without conceding to restore the motion to vacate. Kevin McCarthy led that negotiation. He started January 3rd with agreeing that it would be five. And here's the reality. Any five people could stop every single rule, could stop any party line vote. They could take down every bill. And that was kind of already happening from time to time. Uh, the idea that you could just put this off and avoid the question was a total fallacy. So bad news doesn't get better with time. We should have just had the debate when we, when we did. And Kevin said that at conference earlier in the morning. He's like, let's just get this on at 2 o'clock. He but tweeted about it. So your point it. is this so rule has been there and it's not going anywhere. In other words, things are not going to be different with the next speaker. They're going to have to deal with the same exact situation if it came up. Is that, is that fair? I mean, because people look at it and say, boy, this is well, hard I think to that's govern. Too it's so soon close, to, that's, you know. It, it is tough to govern. But the reality is, look, we, we have, what, a three-seat majority now? So any four people could take down a rule. And so, you know, the idea that, you, oh, you need, you know, 50 votes, 100 votes or whatever to do a motion to vacate. Well, the reality is any four people can stop every rule. Right. So, but in this case, uh, can't you know, one person could, like Gates, one, I mean, Gates was the only guy who brought it up at first. I know he got other support, but it was it was him. I mean, should we be living in that type well, of a world? I mean, let, it, let me actually phrase it differently. Can we live? Can we govern, you know, exist in that type of a world where one guy like Gates can do what he did? Look, the idea that Matt Gates was alone in this is a fallacy as well. I mean, you know, I think history will rightly record Matt as the guy that led it. 
but there were people that wanted to drop the motion to vacate on Saturday to prevent Kevin from going to the continu continuing resolution, the clean resolution that passed the House. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.